Hey, this is Drew Bennett from Big Damn Kid, and I have the last of the cartoon classics characters from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have Bebop, that warthog with an attitude, and I am going to build that to add it to my overall uh, image of, of the, the rest of the turtles, the whole mosaic thing. So I'm going to build that right now. Now I'm not going to bore you with the overall build. I'm going to build everything that I show you, but uh, I put together the foot soldiers, and I just want to point out this one thing about the foot soldier. Notice what he's got in his hands. He's got ninja stars on his hands. Okay, so here's our foot soldier. Here's our ninja star. See? Let's put it in his hand. Oh wait, no. Let me try again. No doesn't fit in his hand. Put it onto the box, show me that it can fit in his hand. No, I don't think so. Nice try. You can't even just like jam it in there somehow. It doesn't fit. Liars. Oh, I also want to point out that yesterday when I was talking about this piece, I said it was a 2x12. No, I counted all the little pegs. It's a 2x6. Stupid. The base is built the exact same way as the one for Rocksteady, even down to the positioning of the manhole covers. And so let's put the rest of it together. And here is the final product with all three of the foot soldiers and Bebop. This one actually includes a ooze container, a cylinder of the ooze, which it's very cool, some mutagen, and uh, yeah, overall, really good. This one went together really nice. Let's see how it looks with all six of the playsets. Looks like I might have a little bit of work to do in order to make them all be right next to each other, because I'll have to move some of the images and stuff around, but that is the entire set of each one of the classic cartoon characters for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I'd like to have had a Shredder or Casey Jones or even April O'Neil. I don't know if they're going to make one of those, but that would be pretty cool. Well, that's it for the classic cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks sets. Finishing it off with Bebop and three of the Foot Soldiers. I Again, like I said, I would have liked to have seen Shredder, uh, Casey Jones, April O'Neil. That would have been great, but it's not going to happen uh, unless it comes out. Unless they're coming out later, I, I never know. I'm, I used to be uh, someone who reviewed Mega Blocks. That used to be something I did. I did all of the Skylander stuff way back when, and they they lost the Skylanders. Mega Blocks got acquired by Mattel. Just all that stuff. So when they put out these Ninja Turtle ones, I thought, that's really cool. I mean, they have stuff for the current cartoon, but that's all really expensive. But when they came out with these individual ones, they weren't that expensive, so I picked them up. Then uh, they also have the classic comic book, like the original comic book sets. So I've got these for some future, uh, some future videos. They also have two other, like, bigger sets where you have shredder and you have casey jones so i really would love to grab those but right now they're kind of expensive i figure that at some point they're going to hit clearance because i don't think they're like big big sellers but i will keep my eye out on them and when uh, it gets to the point where i find that the, the price is right i'll pick those up now i'm not sure if i'm going to go right into the comic book ones or if i'm going to wait till those other things go down in price uh, i may get back into the transformers comics who knows? I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next uh, here on Big Damn Kid. Anyway, this is Drew Bennett from Big Damn Kid. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as Big Damn Kid. And you can find me at BigDamnKid.com. And you can always subscribe so you can see all the latest videos. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. I'd love to hear from you. I love interacting with people who are interested in the same sort of things that I am. And as always, thanks for watching.